longtime accounting firm of former President Donald Trump has cut ties with him, saying it could no longer stand by a decade of financial statements they prepared for the Trump Organization. Well, if you think Donald Trump is stupid, and you have every right to, imagine, imagine what his lawyers think of him. New York's Attorney General releases a letter that shows that Mazars, the accounting firm, has dropped Donald Trump and Donald Trump's insane ego demands that Donald Trump release a statement fighting back against that Mazars letter. And when he does that, when Donald Trump does that, he contradicts everything that his lawyers have been telling the judge in that case. And then tonight, in the breaking news of the night, the Attorney General of the State of New York uses Donald Trump's exact, profoundly stupid words in his statement against him. It is significant, and it's significant because Donald Trump is no stranger to accusations of financial fraud. There have been congressional investigations, there have been previous investigations, there was an indictment last June by the Manhattan District Attorney, and his accountants have stood by him. And we learned yesterday, due to a court filing, that they are no longer standing by him, that they say they have an irreconcilable conflict of interest, and that they cannot stand behind almost a decade's worth of financial statement. That's a big deal. Millions of dollars in loan decisions and other decisions were made in part on the basis of those statements. And now the accountant says they can't be considered reliable, and you need to tell everybody who's seen them that same fact. It is truly rare for a party to publicly disagree with statements submitted by his own attorneys in a signed pleading, let alone one day after the pleading was filed. It's not a moment where you want your accountants to say, we're not standing by the statements we issued over 10 years. The Attorney General refers to the fact that Donald Trump's lawyers insisted in writing to the court that Donald Trump should not be compelled to testify about his businesses because he does not know enough about his businesses. Tonight, the Attorney General told the judge, quote, he professes intimate knowledge of his company, its assets, and their values. And in the statement made yesterday, quotes Donald Trump in the statement made yesterday where he attacked Hillary Clinton and the Attorney General. Today, the Attorney General points out that Donald Trump's written rant responding to the Mazars letter begins with Donald Trump's own description of the valuation of his assets, which is exactly what the Attorney General is investigating. In his written statement, Donald Trump boasts, my company has among the best real estate and other assets anywhere in the world, has significant amounts of cash, has relatively little debt, which is totally current. He then listed specific figures for cash and marketable securities, escrow, reserve deposits and prepaid expenses, total assets, net worth, total liabilities and net worth. He went on to say that the numbers don't tell the whole story because, quote, based on current enthusiasm and transactions which have or will take place, the brand value today could be, in my opinion, substantially higher. So once again, Donald Trump holds himself out as the highest, most definitive authority on the valuation of his businesses. Just look at what happened. The, the, his accounting firm for 10 years fired him. Nobody knows more about taxes than I do and income than I do. They are no longer protecting him. They're protecting themselves. Nobody knows more about banks than I do. Attorney General James intended to provoke Donald Trump by releasing the Mazars letter. <laughs> it absolutely worked. She provoked him into a full admission of what she's been trying to prove, which is that Donald Trump does know about his businesses, he does know how the valuations are arrived at, and he should have to testify under oath about that. His lawyers have been saying, oh no, Donald knows nothing about it. He, that's all the accountants do that. He knows nothing about it. He can't help you. And then, Donald's ego gets tested by that Mazars letter, and he releases that breathtakingly stupid document yesterday where Donald Trump contradicts his lawyers point by point. And then the Attorney General uses that with the judge tonight.
I know more about courts than any human being on earth. First and foremost, let's remember, Lawrence, that the author of, of that really unhinged screed that went out last night at one point had his finger on the nuclear button. And uh, hanging over all of this is is uh, raw evidence not only of his culpability in these investigations, uh, but but of his mental state and 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 the fact that he's about to turn seventy six in June, but his maturity still is around the 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 radius of a, of a seven year old. I understand things. I comprehend very well. Okay, better than I think almost anybody. It's always Groundhog Day with, with Donald Trump. He, he has been playing the same game of inflating the value of what he has uh, for decades, for, for at least five decades. He's a deeply insecure man who uses wealth as a scorecard. And the second you start to put a little pin near that balloon, uh, he loses control. And his lawyers right now have to be pulling their hair out. On Monday, um, earlier this week, Trump and his children all said, we don't know anything. I understand the tax laws better than almost anyone. Donald Trump Jr. couldn't even remember what his title was at the company. And their father said he had no specific information or knowledge about his own financial holdings. I understand money better than anybody. And then two days later, he takes to uh, social media with this letter and in fact gives point by point, very detailed and specific information about his financial holdings. That that alone blows up this carefully crafted defense his lawyers have begun to uh, put into play for him to keep him from having to testify to Tish James. So that gets blown up. Nobody knows more about debt than I do. That letter he wrote last night has created a whirlwind of fresh problems on top of what already is a nightmare scenario for him. I know a lot. I know more than I'm ever going to tell you. Well, I think right now, Mazars is deep into the self-protective mode. They can't do anything about what's happened now. That's past. All they can do now is, is figure out the best way to move forward. And I think they've figured out that the best way to move forward is to cooperate. They know everything. Firing Trump was a good first step. It was a little late. They're now, I think, uh, doing what they can to get in front of this and protect themselves and not worry about protecting Trump. Who knows more about lawsuits than I do? I'm the king.